it was really cool. Uh, two weddings occurred because of it. Um, and they were sisters, believe okay. it or not. So, so this, this is the, the wedding dress and dress uniform of <laughs> Ethel Butoff and, well, Ethel Winters and Virgil Butoff. Ethel was the postmistress in Ringel. Um, yeah, uh, now you blink and you miss it, right? Yeah. Um, I think if you blink back then, you missed it too. <laughs> but, oh, nice. yep, she was the postmistress in Ringgold, and he was originally from Kearney, uh, which helped, I think, with the whole thing. But she personally told me she was too much of a lady to him. <laughs> but her sister did. I'm like, oh, so your sister's not a lady, huh? <laughs> okay. So her sister, um, uh, Vera, put her name in a popcorn ball, and Virgil got that popcorn ball. Well, he thought, he was 26, you know, he, oh, that's too too. But he gave it to his friend. Well, then they got stationed in the Aleutian Islands, so you can imagine how boring that was. Um, and so uh, Virgil's friend, uh, uh, Woody, started writing Vera. And so then uh, Virgil said, well, does she have a sister? And that sister was, was Ethel. And so they started writing. And those are the two pictures that they gave each other. And after six months, uh, he came home on leave and met her family. And, or excuse me, I'm sorry, I got to step back. So uh, after after six months, he had his sister take an engagement ring up to her. Um, and so she wrote him back and said, I will wear it, but we're not officially engaged until I meet you. Which is probably a good thing. <laughs> Imagine. Um, and so then after another six months, he got leave and came back to see his family and he saw her family. And uh, they drove down to Kearney and met his family. And on the way back, he said, let's get married. So it's the first time she met him. And she said yes. And so that night, they got married. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, the best part is they lived happily ever after. Um, they had uh, five children. And um, the, How long were they married? They were married until he passed away of a heart attack in 76. And he was. they were doing what their favorite thing was. They yeah. were out watching the sand the cranes, things. Yeah. And he died of a heart attack. Well, I was just very pleased to be able to introduce in the Senate the bill that would honor the North Platte Canteen with a Congressional Gold Medal. Representative Adrian Smith introduced it in the House, so we're ready to get these passed. I have good support across the board, across the aisle, from a number of senators, and now we just need to find the time to make sure that we get this done before the end of the year and that the House has time to act to. But I don't see any um, issues coming up on this. I think everybody understands how important it is to recognize really true uh, volunteerism, patriotism that we saw here in the North Platte area and many, many surrounding communities to honor that as well as on and honor our military men and women who came through during World War II and were, were helped in this community and have very fond memories of this community. We want to get it done by the end of the year. Uh, that is our goal, and I know Congressman Smith and I are both working hard to do that.